Hey guys, this is Dr. Ryan DeBell from The Movement Fix. And Coach Cody Looney from CrossFit Advantage. And today is day 22 of the 30 for 30 Movement Challenge. We got some running and cutting, some lateral stability drills uh, that we're trying to prepare for. And to do that, we're gonna do the triplanar hip extension drills that we've seen before. And then we're gonna do a rotational stability drill. How are we gonna do it here? Okay, so we're gonna spend 30 minutes. This is gonna be almost like a little conditioning session. Maybe an extended warm up, kind of depends on how you want to look at it. But we're going to do some shuttle runs, some cutting back and forth, some changing direction, and then some cone drills at the end of every shuttle run. In between series of the shuttle run and cone drills, we're going to do the other drills that we have planned today. All right, so we got Tia here to demo for us today. Let's go take a look. The first move that we're going to do here is the triplanar hip extension. We got an ab bed on the ground so we don't have to jam our kneecap into the ground uncomfortably. T is gonna go into a lunge position. Now for her and probably for a lot of people, we need to crunch down the abs a little bit so that we don't overextend through the low back. Common tendency during this movement. The first move that we're gonna do is T is just gonna come forward like this and she's gonna be moving at her hip on the right, not extending or bending backwards through her spine. We don't want that. So we're gonna go 10 reps here then she's going to do 10 reps bending towards the front leg side with her right arm up overhead. Show us that please, a couple reps. Keeping those ribs crunched down. So 10 reps here. After 10 reps, she's going to rotate both directions. Show us that. Keeping the ribs tucked down. Good. So go 10 rota rotations. Good. Reach with the arms. Good. One more. Okay. Good. So 10 in each one of those directions, both legs. And then we have to teach ourselves how to control rotational movement. So she's gonna land her back. We already have the ab mat here. She's gonna put the ab mat between her knees, arms out to the sides. And a lot of people will do this as a stretch. We're doing this to learn how to control rotation. So she's gonna take her legs this way slowly and she's gonna control it we stop just before the opposite shoulder lifts off. So starting to lift off right there, so we come the other direction. And right there, the shoulder started to lift, so we're gonna go the other direction. We're gonna go back and forth 10 reps. So it would be one, two, three, all the way for 10. Now that we have the rotation control locked in, Cody's gonna show us some cone drills, some sprint drills. All right, so we're gonna get a couple shuttle runs in here. Tia's gonna sprint back and forth. We have a 25 foot core set up, and let's just go ahead and get started. And go. So Tia's moving as quick as she can. You notice that she always turns facing us. That's gonna make sure that we end up getting the same amount of turns in both directions. And we're just gonna make Tia do this as many times as we want, and go ahead and take a break. Awesome, okay, so we're gonna be doing 15 of these in the class workouts today. But uh, that's pretty much the idea there. Get nice and low, quick out of the turns, and we're touching the cones with our feet. You can touch with your hands if you want. Doesn't really matter. The next drill that we have set up for Tia here is just a little T drill. So the cones are set up in a nice big T. And when we say go, she's going to sprint forward to the center cone, side shuffle to the far side, side shuffle all the way across, side shuffle back to the middle, and then back pedal back into her spot. The goal for this little course happens to be under eight seconds. All right, Tia, here we go. In three, two, one, go. Nice and quick. And she has to face this direction the whole time, getting some lateral speed and agility, some change of directions, back pedal, and back. All right, so that's our little T drill. And there is an infinite number of drills that you can use for some agility. We happen to go with this today. Get creative, have some fun, change directions, and start getting faster. That was triplanar hip extensions, rotational stability, and some shuttle runs and cone drills. Now, as we said, we're doing it for lateral stability drills in the gym. But next time you got that game of flashlight tag, kick the can, flag football, why not do some of this to prepare so you don't pull a muscle and get injured, but you can be even better at the game next time. Absolutely, it's a better way to get it done, all right? Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you like and share this video so we can change the world one air squat at a time. All right, see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow.